Free kick is taken just inside the Dungannon half by Jonathan Rourke. It's worked out to Paul McElroy, left hand side of the penalty area. Uh, ball ricochets back to him after a challenge, has a chance to cross to the back post, and then it's headed back by Rand Harper, and it's rifled into the net by Ryan Mays. Perfect start for Dungannon Swifts. Terrible marking by Balamina at the back post. Ryan Harper, plenty of time and space to head the ball back to Ryan Mays, who from eight yards out rifled it into the roof of the net. And Dungannon Swifts have taken the lead in the League Cup final. It's Balamina United nil. It's Dungannon Swifts one. Michael, just what we have been saying, that has been Balamina's Achilles heel all season, and perhaps last season as well. They cannot keep clean sheets they keep conceding goals and that was basically out of nothing but good play let's not take it away from Paul McElroy who who you know was tigerish in his and his attempts to won the ball down in this corner just below us and he won the ball and he crossed a superb ball to the back post and again intelligent play by the Gunnam player on the end of it because he headed it right across the face of goal where the target was much bigger and then it was buried into the roof of the net fabulous goal but uh, Balamina win it back and uh, it's Andrew Burns who plays it out to Connor McCluskey on that left hand side he's causing a few problems down that left hand side drifts in field on his right foot and that was coming towards the far post beautiful effort from Conor McCluskey who scored a cracking goal in last season's final from the left angle of the ball of, of the Dungannon Swiss penalty he curled it towards the top right hand corner and that was a splendid one handed save from Stuart Addis yeah two flashes of brilliance there because just before that he skinned the, the Dungannon full back to Conor McCluskey for Palomina and drilled a fabulous cross a face a goal and a bit of ping pong in there before they get rid of it and that was a, a fabulous save he brought from Stuart Addis corner kick taken by Miller and it's put in the back of the net by Kyle Owens right on the line a lovely delivery from Leroy Miller and Kyle Owens. He must have only been about a yard or so out. Touring header from in, into the roof of the net. And it's an equaliser for Balamina United. Dungannon's lead only lasting seven minutes. It's old square once more. It's Balamina United one. It's Dungannon's fifth one. You know, Michael, I've got to ask, what about the goalkeeper there? You know, I was singing Stuart Addis's praises there and then honestly caught rooted to the goal line. That cross comes right in on the top of him. I don't know if he'll claim he was... Oh, Ryan Mays, and now with Cormac Burke, left-hand side. Drifts in field onto his right foot. Could it ever from him? Oh, I thought that was going into to the top right hand corner of the net and Ross Glendini at one stage I thought Ross Glendini was just watching it but he timed his leap perfectly got a strong hand on it and the ball over the crossbar for a corner kick but that was a wonderful curling effort from Cormac Burke that seemed to be destined for the top right hand corner of the net similar to Conor McGlusky's effort in the night to come forward with Paul McElroy and I don't know why he turned inside he eventually does find Chris Lowe but Lowe was free earlier eventually the cross does come in and is it poked over the line by Ryan Mays yes it is and Ryan Mays is on a hat trick the ball played in from the right hand side from Chris Lowe his initial effort was kept out it came back to Ryan Mays who from a couple of yards out poked it home Two goals for Mays, two for Dungannon Swifts. It's Balamina United, one, Dungannon Swifts, two. You see, that's that defensive frailty of Balamina again, Michael. Let's not take anything away from Dungannon either. Well-worked goal, lovely uh, pace down the right-hand side. Great cross into the box. And there was young Mays again, showed his tenacity. Ross Glendening stopped his first attempt, but he couldn't stop his second attempt. He bundled it over the line. Two, one, Dungannon. I would have to say, perhaps, against the run of play. But listen question marks again against the centre of the Palomini United ones. Ryan May skips past Miller, right hand side plays in the cross, too high for Harper, might fall to Burke edge of the area, he curls one in and what a wonderful goal from Cormac Burke he's back towards goal he twists, he turned and he curled it past Ross Clendenning into the bottom right hand corner of the net a 
superb effort from Cormac Burke that gives Dungannon Swifts a two-goal cushion. We have played 10 minutes off this second half, and it's Balamini United. The holders won Dungannon Swifts three. Ah, oh, fabulous. And, and that time there, Ryan Mays, who has a double to his credit, you know, he was the creator and the provider that time. He, he was tenacious, got past his marker, got to the byline, whooped it right across the face of goal. And there was Cormac Burke, who almost did the same in the first half, Michael, if you recall, cut inside onto his right, whooped a great ball across, and it was saved at that time by Glenn Denning. Not this time. And I thought, actually... At court, Rossil. Uh, ball breaks to Conor McCluskey, edge of the D, onto his right foot. Oh, lovely curling effort. And as in the first half, he brought a brilliant save out of Stuart Harris, he brings another fabulous save out of Stuart Harris. That could be the that could be the turning point in this game, Michael, because that was a fabulous effort and an equally fabulous save by Stuart Harris. My goodness, uh, they're still 3-1 up. It's one back by Jim Irvin, and there'll be probably one last tack for Balamina. It's a poor one, though, and it's straight to Chris Lowe, and indeed, there goes the final whistle. Dungan and Swifts have won their first trophy, their first senior trophy in the club's history. 3-1, they have beaten the holders. Balamini United, Ryan Mays with two first... Yes, I can just see the uh, players all lining up now, getting their official handshakes, and it's uh, time for the medals to be handed out each player. Receiving that as they line up, I'm directly in front of them. Massive smiles. Ryan May is leading the, the dancing procession as well, as those who have uh, got their medals draped around their necks, link arms, and start singing Sweet Caroline. Wilson just coming past, getting his medal. Andy Coleman now. And the team are preparing to get their hands on the League Cup. Armstrong just getting his medal. And it can't be overstated what a special moment this is for Dungannon Swifts as a football team to win their first senior honour and to come in as underdogs against a very good Balamini United side and I thought it was very honest to David Jeffrey to say that they just didn't quite live up to expectations today and amongst all the goals obviously sometimes it's easy to overlook the goalkeeper Stuart Addis was so good for Dungannon Swifts Ryan Harper has the league cup in his hands and he raises it aloft. Massive celebrations. You can see.